It's a hundred, it's in a spot I won't keep going, I'm a concierge It's 85, just to go Cause I love it, it's a corner I'm from the room, and I shoot like Bobby Horn I'm on this percolated Yo, what is up, Rid Nation? Welcome back to another video. Now, in today's video, bro, we're gonna be looking at the otter. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But guys, listen, listen, real quick. Before we get any further into this video, if you guys want to win a free game pass right now, we're finally bringing back the secret codes. I used to, you know, if you guys are OGs, I mean, even if you aren't, I probably started doing them at like, I probably ended, um, stopped doing them at like. I think 30k subs or 25k subs i'm not even sure but basically we used to do secret codes where if you found a video i mean not a video if you found a secret code in the video you would win the game pass but let me explain all the steps to win a free game pass so this video right now do not skip any part of it that is one of the requirements to win you must like this video subscribe with all notifications if you aren't subbed with all notifications then you're not winning but i will have of giving the game pass to the winner by the next video and all you need to do like sub with notifications join the discord server and roblox group there will be linked down below the description that is pretty much it really and then you also have to find the secret code will be hidden somewhere in this video you must comment the secret code with your discord username and you must be in the server if you're not i don't know how else i can give you the game pass so join the discord server like sub with notifications um Find the secret word, comment to the Discord username and tag, and that those are pretty much the whole like all the steps and watch the video from start to finish. But guys, now we can actually start talking about the whole point of this video. So guys, the whole point of today's video, bro, is to let you guys know what you should be doing with your 150k rail coins. Not really, but like it's it's gonna be helping you guys out a lot. So make sure once again do not skip any part of it. It could potentially not help you out at all, or it could potentially help you out a ton, depending on um I don't know you're because some people actually do do the stuff that I'm gonna tell you guys not to do and then they end up going to my comments and then I don't know just complaining crying about it not complaining to me like not complaining about me of course complaining about the game and stuff like, so guys do I'm gonna tell you guys what not to do and what you should do with your code and I'm even gonna give you guys the code if you guys haven't seen my last video the code is on the screen right now go ahead and use it if you guys want to use it you guys cannot use it right now actually right now I'm by the time I'm recording this you cannot use this the code will be out or will be usable from 6 to 8 p.m east which is when the update is dropping so as soon as the update drops you can go ahead and use the 150k spins code now what for, let's get started with how you should use your 150k rogue coin spin code so obviously you should go ahead and use it in the um code section obviously it's i mean it's something everybody should everybody should know and then once you've used it now here are the things you can do with it first i'm gonna start off by saying by saying as the things you can do with it so the things you can do with it are obviously get uh bloodlines here get some drip or bloodlines now these out of these three i recommend only getting this one but then again you guys could be collecting so you guys can get whatever you want i'm not gonna tell you guys what you should get and what you shouldn't but i'm gonna tell you guys how to what's how to use it like uh, like in a smart way so that you don't lose any rail coins so well, like i said you can use this you can i don't know don't buy pointless drip in my opinion i i just wouldn't but you guys can do that you can do that i don't know it's up to you guys but after you put the code there's also an id section where you can put um like you can get ids from shirts i'll show you guys in a bit you go to let's, you know let's just go to the main menu right now all right guys so basically whenever you go onto the main menu and then go to the uh character section right here once you go here this is another way you can spend your coins by the way and it's also another way you can lose all your coins which is what happened to me i lost so many coins because of this and a lot of people did too so just for those people that don't know about this please do not do this you can buy it but do not click it more than once let me show you guys what i mean i'll purposely lose my rail coins just to show you guys so let me get an id real quick here we go guys so basically i got a shirt id right here once again please do not do this and what another thing you can do actually once you get the shirt id don't just buy this because you can get both for the same price let me show you guys what not to do first so what you shouldn't do if you want pants and shirts do not just put the shirt and buy it but i'll do it just just because why not so right here i'm gonna click it right and then it puts it on obviously that's good right but i didn't buy the pants so like I, i'm gonna have to spend another 2500 and if you click it one more time it takes another like it takes more rail coins so here's how you if, use this the best way the smartest way let me go get the pants id all right, guys, so make sure you have both IDs filled out. It will not charge you 5K for this. It will only charge you 2,500. I mean, that's a lot, but still. Buy. See how it changed both my shirt and pants? And this is a really ugly fit. But if you guys want, you guys can go buy this. Um, I mean, this looks really ugly right now because it's just... 
it doesn't mix well but if you guys want to buy some auto merch and stuff it's in the description in the group but yeah it's in the group yeah but um that guys remember just once again i'm gonna show you guys one more time so once again make sure you put both the ids and only click it once if it doesn't work it'll still take your real coins if the id doesn't work even if yeah even if it doesn't work by the way so let's just say i change this uh, number up let's just do this let's see if it works let's see this if it were i doubt this will work but if it actually t it actually took it see do not put every time you click buy it'll immediately take your real coin so do not put random numbers make sure it's the exact id make sure the id works same thing for the face bro do not spam it because i was spamming it and not knowing that my id wasn't working and i lost so many real coins bro i was just so annoyed and i looked at my real coins it is it was horrible just guys once again make sure do not just, just do what i said bro and you'll be safe but guys with the bloodlines just go back in game so i can tell you guys how to efficiently or not efficient, but like the smartest way to spend your rel coins. Actually, I'll just say this right now. So the smartest way to spend your rel coins on bloodlines. So basically, if you guys want super rare bloodlines and it's in shop, let's, let's just say, for example, like Shindai Rengoku, bro. Shindai Rengoku or anything that's super rare, like, I don't know, um, like 1 out of 300 things, like these things. These are the only things I recommend actually buying, unless you, like, really cannot wait. Like something like Shindai Ren Yang, that is something you should definitely buy if it's in the shop. I do, like, there's no reason for you not to. It's 1 out of, one out of 300. Anything, like, here, here's what I would buy. Anything that's 1 out of, uh, 2, anything that's 1 out of 150 or higher, I would buy. Like, anything else that's under, I wouldn't buy, because I would spend for it. Unless, like, I don't know, it's up to you guys in the end, though, but me, personally, I wouldn't even buy Sardis, uh, Akuma, it's a waste. I don't know, it's, that's just my opinion, bro. I, like I said before, I would not buy anything that's under the rarity of 1 out of 150. Like, this I would buy, this I wouldn't buy, this I would not buy, this I would not buy. See, simple things like these you absolutely do not need to buy, bro. But, guys, this is going to be the end of today's video. Where make sure you use your code, or how, your coins, like, in a smart way, please. So, I don't want, I don't want to see you guys compl <laughs> complaining in my comments, bro, because it's been hectic these past days, bro, with the complaints about you guys accidentally using your rail coins too much. And also, one more thing, for those that don't have Bloodline Bag, you'll be able to buy, um... You'll be able to buy bloodlines without having a bloodline bag in this upcoming update. So literally, just wait. Uh, don't buy any bloodlines right now if you do not have a bloodline bag from the rail coin shop. Just do not. And guys, you can buy accessories and all that stuff. I'm pretty sure. But guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you do like, sub, with all notifications. This did help you. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out, guys.